Hi everyone and welcome to this video. A few weeks ago I was playing around with solar and uh, I think I might have shorted the TFT or something or maybe coded it incorrectly or something like that and the TFT screen was acting funny and I thought well I'll rip it out and just buy a new one. Anyway, so I did. I bought two of these and they were fairly cheap. I think they were about £2.50 each or something like that. Um, and it looked comparable, it looked about the same, so I thought, well, let's make things easier and um, keep the same one, and then the coding will stay the same, the wiring will stay the same, etc. But um, the wiring is not the same. So I'll just show you this one first. So on here, you can see um, over on, well, if we just forget this side, I mean, it says TFT over here, SC, uh, SCK, SDA, etc. But forget that, because for whatever reason, you don't need to use that side. We use this side. That's a bit peculiar, but whatever. But anyway, so here we've got RST, which means reset. You wire it to the reset pin. You've got CS, which is chip select, which is something used in SPI. You've got DC, which means data command, which I won't go into. We've got DIN, which is data in, which is also known as MOSI. We've got CLK, which is um, an abbreviation used for clock, and it's SPI clock. Uh, we've got VCC, which is uh, plus 5 volts or plus 3.3, .3, whatever. We've got backlight, BL, backlight, which is plus whatever it is, plus 5, I think. And we've got ground, which is obviously ground. So, for an SPI device, it says there 1.8 SPI, that's fairly straightforward. Anyway, so if I move over to this one... Now, the labelling on this is the most ridiculous labelling I've ever seen. So, let's have a look. We've got lots of different pins here to, to look at. And we've got LED minus, which is obviously the uh, backlight. So it's the backlight uh, cathode. We've got LED plus, which is the, uh, the backlight anode. That's fairly easy. Now we've got SDCS, which is the SD card chip select, which I won't be using. And then we've got MOSI, MISO, SCK, so they're obviously the SPI ones, and CHIP SELECT, so that's all SPI. Then we've got SCL and SDA, which are um, I squared C um, lines. Then we've got A0, which it's a bit ambiguous. We've got RESET, which is RESET. We've got NOT CONNECTED, NOT CONNECTED, NOT CONNECTED, VCC, and finally GROUND. So, it looks straightforward, doesn't it? But it's not. And the reason being is because, like I said, the labelling is absolute rubbish. It's amongst the worst labelling I've ever seen. Anyway, so why is that? Well, I've spent about half an hour to 45 minutes trying to get this thing to work the same as this. And now, I actually, it's clicked and I know what's going on. This is an SPI device. It says here, SPI TFT. So, what I did is I thought, well... That's quite easy. So we've got LED, LED, backlight, SD, don't need that, Mosey, Meso, clock, I'll wire those up, and and then we should be okay. And then there's obviously these two here. There's A, AO or A0, whatever it is, and reset. And then and I thought it would be quite easy. So um, I wired it up, it didn't work. So I thought, well, okay, I'll, I'll try this one again. And uh, it worked, so I went back to this one. What is going on? Anyway, after a lot of messing about, I realised that this SPI device doesn't use the SPI labels. Now, I, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen, but um, but there we go. So, if you use the SCL and the SDA uh, labels, which are actually uh, I squared C uh, lines and labels, it actually works. So, if you use the I squared C labels for this SPI device, it works. Now I'm going to show you the actual pinout itself. What I've done is, uh, to make things a bit easier for you lot, I've drawn it all out. So if I just go through these with you now. So from the top we've got LED minus, which of course that's the cathode, that goes to ground. LED plus, that goes to plus 5 volts. Then down here you've got chip select, and chip select can go to pretty much any pin you want, but I put it to 15 and it, I've got it working that way. Then SCL is actually SCK, 
that's actually SPI clock, serial clock. So that of course goes to pin 18. Uh, this is on the ESP32 by the way, but it should work for Arduino as long as that goes to a CK, serial clock. Then SDA, um, that actually goes to MOSI, so that's pin 23, so that's master out slave in. Uh, A0, I put that to pin 2 and it works fine. Um, then we've got reset, I put that to pin 4 and it works fine. Then we've got loads of not connected to there, and then of course we've got VCC, which I found out is better at 3.3 volts. Uh, well, works perfectly at 3.3, and therefore you'd probably want to use it. And ground again goes to ground. So I'll just show you this working now. If I just push this thing in and reset, it should work. And there it is. So proof that that's this quite frankly ridiculous labelling can actually be worked with and you can get it working. So uh, for all of those who have got this module hopefully you won't waste 40 minutes of your time like I did and hopefully you can get it working straight away. Thanks for watching. Bye!